What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a really cool team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a weakness policy AG slash team alongside Moxie Gyarados and Coaching Rylou. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Like I've been saying, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Blowing my mind, cannot thank you guys enough, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Trenton. Trenton, shout out to you for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. I cannot wait to get after it. It has two of my favorite Pokemon with AG Slash and Gyarados, so hopefully we can use them, show them off, and get some wins. Rocking out with this team, top left corner, we have Thunderous. Thunderous over here is a great Pokemon, defiant ability, so it's going to work well in this meta considering there's so many Intimidate Pokemon. We got the Life Orb as its item, so we get that attack boost. Wild Charge, Fly, built for Stab, Smart Strike for a coverage move, and Protect as our final move. Mammoth Swine right next to him with that Oblivious ability, so Intimidates or Fake Outs will not affect us. Awesome ability, it's one of the best ones I think. I think it works all around in this meta considering Intimidate and Fake Out is a huge part of the meta and the rank double battles. Focus Ash as his item, Icicle Crash, High Horse Power, both for Stab, Ice Sharp for first and priority, and then Protect as its final move. Middle left is AG Slash, a Pokemon that I think doesn't get enough loving on the rank double ladder. It is a cool Pokemon, and he's one of my favorites. He's got the Stance Change ability, Weakness Policy as his item, Flash Cannon and Shadow Ball for Stab, Sacred Sword for our coverage move, and King Shield as his Protect. Gyarados right next to him with that Moxie ability and a Soul Fest. You guys already know the power of this Pokemon. Such a good all-around Pokemon. You get a kill with it. We're going to get that Moxie boost, get that attack boost, and just dominate the battle from there. Waterfall and Bounce for Stab, Power Whip, and EQ for coverage. This Pokemon is an absolute monster. Rylou in that bottom left corner, Prankster ability, and Evil Light as his item. He's going to be a great support mod for this team. We have Coaching as one of its moves, so I can use that on an ally Pokemon. Give him an attack boost, defense boost as well, and roll out from there. His Vacuum Wave for Stab, Screech for defense, drops on an opposing Pokemon, and Protect as his final move. Final Pokemon on this team is Mimikyu, another support mod for this team. Disguises his ability, Mental Herb as his item, so he cannot be taunted or all that good stuff. Then we got Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Play Rough for Stab, Willow Wisp to burn physical attackers, and Trick Room to counter up on Trick Room. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with his weakness policy, AG Slash, and Moxie Gyarados team. I just realized it guys, it is a brand new season, which means ranks are set, we are sitting at 0-0 zero zero for the season, let's try to get off on a stronger note, we're hopping into battle number 1, going up against a Stockataka Trick Room team, alongside with Ndidi, uh, Tornadus, Raichu, and then the uh, Urshfu and Tapu Fini. How do I want to go into this one? I kind of want to bring AG Slash in case he leaves Ndidi, but then he could go Tailwind from there, then I wouldn't like that one bit, I really wouldn't like that one bit, but I'm still going to go AG Slash. Trying to see, how can I counter up on that Tailwind? I could go Thunders. Thunders wouldn't be bad. Or I could go Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine's not bad here either. And what does Jeans want to do here? Because he could start off with that Follow Me, but that's why I really want to bring out that AG Slash. Because I could drop a nice big Shadow Ball and get rocking out from there. I'm going to go AG Slash and then... Hmm. Maybe just Jeans one on the team. Actually, I could just counter up on Trick Room. Let's go Mimikyu. Let's go Mimikyu, let's go these two, and then I'm going to bring Thunderous, and then in the final spot, I think Moxie Gyarados would be a better call. But I'm really digging that. I'm really digging that. I really want to show off the coaching Rylou, but I feel like since he has a chance to go on Trick Room, I gotta rock out with this combo and get after it. But guys, since it is the new season, let me know for question of the day, what is your guys' personal best ranks in Pokemon Sword and Shield rank battles? For me personally, I think my highest I ever hit was like 540? It was somewhere around there, and it was uh, it was like a couple months ago. It was uh, actually like maybe half a year ago. I hit like 540. I think that was the highest I ever hit. Nothing higher than that. So let me know your guys' PBs in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. But he's going to lead this Tailwind combo. Tailwind, top of Finny. He's going to be able to rock out with it. Let's see how we can get popping with it. Get some Misty Surge flowing. It's all juicy, all goodness. And I think, I think like I said, Tailwind's going to get popping, and we're going to have to do something about it. We have Flash Cannon. We have King Shield. We can do a lot here. I might go for the Flash Cannon and just get after it. Oh, I can trick room. He wants to go tailwind. I could just trick him. I'm kind of with it. Not even gonna lie. I'm getting after his uh, support tornadoes. I'm kind of with just a big old trick room, right? Let's drop it. I'm gonna say he goes into tailwind, and I'm gonna pop a trick room. That is the genes plan, because he can have the speed as long as we have the trick room. There's tailwind. Let's get this trick room popping. Let's get it. 
Let's get it. So we're just going to counteract this Tailwind with this uh, Trick Room, and he's going to Ice Punch and knock off my disguise, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine, because we get off a nice big old Flash Cannon here. A lovely little Flash Cannon, and we're going to take Speed Advantage with this Trick Room, which is awesome. And he shows that he's like, well, Fan Change popping. We getting after it. And I can Shadow Sneak whenever I want. So if I bring this thing down decently enough, I can maybe just Shadow Sneak KO it. But no, we're not doing that much damage. Trick Room popping. Let's get after it. Okay, so I can actually Dynamax and Shadow Sneak. I could Dynamax here. Which could be really good. Rock Policy and get a free KO. Is that what Jeans wants to do? I'm special attacking, so what do I want to do here? Defense boost could be nice as well. Here we go for the Steel Spike. We take out uh, Tornadus and we proc our policy. Actually, we can't proc our policy. Yeah, we can. Yes, we can. We can do it. I could go into a sand change, but no. We're going to proc policy and we're going to rock out from there. As planned. How much damage are we really going to do onto our edge slash? That's my question. Because this is what I see happening. I see us proc policy, us taking out Tornadus, no problem. And then the uh, top of Finny going after my uh, my Mimikyu and potentially taking him out. So I'm fine with that. I'm Let's get this AG Slash popping, dude. Look how dope he looks. He's just a sword and a shield. I'm surprised he didn't come out in sword and shield. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he should have came out in sword and shield. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing here. I think the Finny, right? Is the Finny going to get the boost? Yep, there goes Tapu Finny with the Maxing. And who else do I have? Who else do I have? Got a counteract on this thing. Who did I bring? I brought the Gyarados and the... Okay, I brought the Thunderous, which is really nice. Now Sneak's going to pop through here. Let me proc policy, so not that much damage. I'm fine with that. Give me my policy. Tornadus, get out of my face. I know we're out speeding you, Tornadus. Or I know we're out speeding everybody. Until Tailwind's over. And this thing's just going to swagger. And this thing physical attacking? Wow. That's pretty cool. That's cool little combo. He is physical attacking top of in here. Tail Spike's going to come through here. And that is good that he's physical attacking. We get a defense boost. We get a lovely little defense boost. And he's going to be able to start rocking out with it. Hopefully he goes after Mimikyu. Let's see what he does. Go after my Mims. Take out my Mimikyu. He goes for Geyser. Mimikyu, go after him. Go after my Mims. Do it. Yes, okay. So he goes after Mimikyu and picks up the cat. Yo, dude, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Now we get out, my boy. Um, What do I do from here? Because he can guard. He can totally guard. Could go into you. Do I really want to go into? Because he can guard. Or do I want to go into you and just start sending wild charges? I think I'd rather... Hmm. What does Jeans want to do? That's the thing. I really don't want to double up into the top of Finny just in case he does go for a max guard. But I'm going to bring out my Thunderous and see who he goes into from there. Who you got, kind sir? It's going to be Urshfu. Okay. I can deal with Urshfu. I can deal with that. I can just drop a max knuckle and get an attack boost. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna get that attack boost for the squad. And I am just gonna drop a wild charge. Run it. Let's do it. Let's get it. after Suck Punch gonna come through here. We should be able to eat. Yep, we eat up all day. And out comes our max knuckle. Gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage over onto you. Is he sash? He's not sash. So we pick up the easy KO, light work, and we get that attack boost for our Thunderous, who is gonna outspeed because they're tailwind. They are tailwind. I think. What do we have? One more turn left in uh, Tailwind? Hopefully it's one more. Wild Charge comes out here. Big damage. Oh my god. Brings that thing down to one. He is, isn't he orbed? So he's going to go down here. That is awesome. He's going to go down here. He's going to take out. He's going to take out my Age Slash or my Thunderous. But yo, I'm cool with that. Thunderous goes down. That's a great turn for me. That is a huge turn for me right there. I'm loving it. I get out my Gyarados in the rain. And it comes down to a 2v1. 2v1, baby. I think I'm going to uh, actually King Shield this turn, depending on what Pokemon he comes out with. Just get off a block and try to get a Waterfall Rock, because Waterfall is going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. But I'm hoping it's a Special Attacker, because that, that would just make my chances even better of winning. Gyarados gets pop. We got out my two favorite Pokemon. Not ever, but definitely pushing my top 10. I love these guys so much. Just their design and everything. It's going to be Indeedee. It is going to be Indeedee's Special Attacker, and dang, you had Indeedee in the back end like this? That's a rough back end Pokemon. He's gonna pop the seeds, get the special defense boost. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. 
I still have another turn in Dynamax, so. I'm just gonna go for a uh, Steel Spike. Why do I think Phantasm was super effective? I, get, I got Ghost and Dark type mi uh, mix up. So if you guys heard me say, oh, we're gonna bring in AG Slash for that Indeedy, total brain fart there. Dark is super effective Indeedy, not Ghost. Let's chop our Steel Spike, get some stab going, and then I think we just Waterfall. Waterfall's the best best in the rain. And Tailwind's not over yet, so we got the speed advantage. This should be GG's. This should be GG's. Gonna yeah, rock out with that. Bring that thing down to almost red, and Waterfalls can come out here. Pick up the KO. Yo, huge Trick Room from me in turn one. Read him going into that Tailwind, sent that Trick Room, took speed advantage for the rest of the game, and just dominated the rest of the turns. Let's get it, guys. Starting off the new season 1 0, we can hop into our second battle and look to go back to back for today's video. What a great way to start off this season 1 0. We're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Charizard team alongside with Porygon 2 for Trick Room, Regilecki, Tapu Fini, Glacier, and Incineroar. So this one's looking a little tough. I'm not even going to lie here. Um, I want to definitely get Mamoswine up in here, considering we can be oblivious and we can. Uh, we don't have to worry about the Intimidate, and we can do damage onto that Regilecki and just get rid of him. I want to bring Thunderous here as well, but I think I'm going to coach up on uh, Rylu, or Thunderous with Rylu, and then go Mamoswine, and then in the final spot, bring Gyarados? I think that could be the play. Do I see him leading Regilecki? Maybe, potentially. If that's the case, I kind of just want to get rid of him. But we're going to take this lead. We're going to get rocking out with it. Hopefully, he does not go into a Trick Room turn one. That would be our detriment here. I don't see him doing it. I really don't see him doing it. I feel like he's going to lead that Regilecki. Maybe Incineroar. But I think I think he's just going to bring Charizard, Regilecki, Tapu Fini, and Incineroar. And keep Glacier and his Trick Room uh, Porygon 2 in the back end. And I really don't want to bring in Mimikyu considering we kind of showed him off in that first battle. I just want to do something different and get rocking out from here. But like I said, we're sitting at 1 0. Great way to start off this season. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far, dude. Game's been tons of fun for me. I have no problem recording for you guys. Like, dude, I love waking up every morning and, like, coming to my desk be like hey let's get another recording done and just making a video for you guys it, it, i really do enjoy it so thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel he's going to lead he's going to lead porygon 2 that buttery biscuit and alongside with the top of any so i think he is going to get off that trick room combo i think i just dropped the lightning does he have any pokemon to swap into that's just going to soak up the lightning he's going to get off that misty surge that wonderful little misty surge so in that case i'm just going to coach up and Drop a lightning. This one's gonna be tough, dude. Glacier might just come out here and roll us. Right? What other Pokemon do you have? Is he going to swap into it's gonna eat up a lightning? Nothing really after I coach it. I think this is the play. Just to do that. Because he's gonna get off that trick room and there's nothing we can really do about it. I mean, yo, I could screech. I'm just gonna coach up. I'm just gonna coach on all my boy. Let's see how this plays out. I hope Finny could protect. But let me know in the comment section down below for this battle. Do you guys think I should have screeched onto the Porygon 2 and just went right after it? With my Thunderous, go for a Max Lightning on him. Because the top of Finny could protect and he could just get off an easy turn. So maybe I should have just screeched and rocked out with that. Let's see what he does. He's gonna protect. Yeah, see? Wow. Should have done that. Should have done it. Here goes my coach. Coaching up, he does an easy, wonderful turn. And he's going to block and neglect a lot of my damage coming in from this Max Lightning. It's a huge turn from him. That was a huge turn from him. Trick Room's going to get popping. He can potentially Dynamax and rock out from there. See, but that's the thing. I don't know if a Screech would have picked up the KO. I could try it out here. I could try it out here. Let's see, let's see what's going to happen. I don't really see him Dynamaxing the Finny. I don't see him Dynamax in the Finny. He's going to Leftovers. Uh, he might just go for like a Moonblast or something along those lines. But I think I just uh, Screech and hit Lightning again. Hit Lightning again. Let me check out what the Terrain does again. I always forget about Terrains. Actually, Terrain, the power of Electric type moves are boosted. Yeah. Okay. Five turns. Pokemon on the ground won't fall asleep. That is dandy. Uh, no, I do not want to run. I do not want to run. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> um, I could just go. I'm just going to go for Lightning. And I'm just going to screech this thing. I just want to see if it would have picked up the KO. I don't think it would have. But it definitely would have been a better turn if I would have read the protect. Let's test it out. Screech coming out here. Minus two. We are plus one on attack, so this KO's the attack boost could be a huge factor into it. Ice cream's gonna pop. Hey, chill on me, man. Chill on me. You gonna hit up on me? 
Gonna hit up on me. Top of Phoenix gonna go into that moon blast. And that's a KO. We got a free focus ash. We just got a free focus ash, which is awesome. <laughs> Here goes the lightning. And that could have been the play. That's some big damage there. That is some big old damage. That is some big old damage. We get rid of Porygon too. We don't have to worry about that thing for the rest of the match. But yo, I think that would have worked. The next time, I think I'm just going to Screech, take out the Porygon 2, no problem, because that's a minus 2 defensive drop. Here's Glacier, blah, 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 blah. I am going to just vacuum, or, you know what? I'm going to get off a of Screech and just guard. I'm just going to guard and get off a of Screech onto this thing. That's my plan. That is my lovely little plan. I'd rather get a defense drop onto this thing before my Rylu goes out. Because I know in this trick room, he's just going to be able to easily dump onto my uh, Thunderous, no problem. And get that Chilling Nate boost. Which stinks, but dude, Glacier's just too good, man. You get him in on a trick room, it is so tough to beat. But I think the only way we're beating this is if we can waste out trick room and get after it that way. You have the Mammo, but I think this thing is going to be policy. Game. This thing's going to be able to circle shots, no problem. So let's just see what he does. Let's see his play. Let's see what this dude's going to do. There's a guard. Big old max guard. Here goes a Screech. Let's get this defense drop on this thing. So when we hit it, we can do a line damage onto it. Screech popping. Hailstorm comes out. There's a guard. Waste one turn. Gotta love it. And Moonblast. Oh, we waste two turns. Oh. 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 Does that mean... Does that mean what I think it means? Does that mean we get off another Screech? <laughs> Gonna drop another Screech here. Bring this thing's defense down. If we hit it, I want it dead. I want it out of here. Go for this wild charge. And screech up on you. Screech him down. And screech this boy down. Get his defense super low. Because he's probably going to pick up the double KO here. And I have Mammoth Swine in the back who is sashed. His big old focus sash on him. Which could clutch up for us. Because a minus four glacier. I don't think he's taking high horsepower too well. I don't think he's taking a high horsepower too well. But there's another Screech. Big old defense drops. Here goes the Hailstorm. There's the easy double KO. Unless my boy eats this somehow, but there's not a shot. No shot. Okay, so there's the big drop. How many turns does he have left in Trick Room is the real question. Is it over? Because if it's over, that, that, is, that is enormous. I know Mammoth Swine does not take uh, buffets. Our Sash should be intact. Money Water comes through. Let's go. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm trying to think what's gonna happen here. If Trick Room's gone, we're thriving. So my Garrus doesn't have a protect, but I think Trick Room has one more turn left in it. Right, because we Dynamax turn one. So it's Gyarados and Mammo. I don't have a protect on him, but I really don't want to send it. That's my problem. That is my problem. I wish I had Protect on Gyarados, that would be the play. That would be the play. But I guess we'll drop a Power Whip. That's my plan with him. Power Whip and just High Horsepower. Oh, High Horsepower isn't super effective? Why did I think it was? But Protect might be the play. Yeah, we're gonna Protect Mammo. Mammo, you're getting Protected. We're wasting out this Trick Room. We are wasting out this Trick Room. This is real tough. Why do I think high horsepower is super effective? I'm getting all my typings mixed up. I was almost certain. I was like, yeah, yo, high horsepower. Roll in there. Take him out in one shot. Guess I'm thinking of Metagross. Guess I'm just thinking of Metagross. There's my protect over on my Mammo Mammo. Give me that. And is he going to drop Muddy Water? And what else? A Steel Spike coming through here. Is that on the Mammo? It is on the Mammo. So big protect coming out for me. We're able to eat that up. He does get a defense boost, but he's still minus three. The big part is... Hopefully he doubles in the Mammo. That will be... Play. We're going for muddy water. Let's see. Calm minds. We're gonna combine boost. Can this whip of powers take this thing out? That's my real question. I think we outspeed after this, which is great. Power up. I need you to connect here. That'd be a big thing. Yeah, power up connects. I don't think it's gonna KO though. No, it does not KO. Defense boost definitely helping him out. And the buffets is going to do take out his uh, leftovers. Okay, so. We have speed now. I think a high horsepower would take out Glacier, no problem. 
That's a really good battle. This is a really good battle. We have speed. All day. Speed is ours. It's our friend. Um, could go for a waterfall, but it bounce. I think we're just gonna go for another power whip here. Get our get our Moxie Boost guarantee that KO and just high horsepower. Do I double up into you? Let me see speed real quick. I have 22 seconds up, check speeds. Gyarados is definitely just faster than my Mammoth Swine. But yeah, we should be able to outspeed through. We really don't want to double up into. I think we're just gonna drop a power whip. And I think we're just gonna high horsepower. Rock out from there. Glacier might protect. He might protect. He's gonna withdraw the glacier. And what are you gonna go for? Don't go into someone with like levitate or something. It's gonna be Incineroar. Which we're oblivious and we should be able to take out the We'll do big damage onto Incineroar. And there goes my Oblivious. And as long as we can pick up this KO here, which I think we should with the Power Whip. Oh, he's going to protect. Ouch. going to protect, just get a little bit more HP back. Power Whip comes through, it gets blocked. This is really, this is going to be a close battle. That's a huge swap for him. High Horsepower rolls through. Is this KOing? Does not pick up the KO. And he has a Barry, of course. But I think we outspeed that thing. Should have bounced. I should have bounced. That would have been a huge turn for a bounce. He's definitely going to fake me out here. Or at least go for the fake out onto my uh, Gyarados. Hopefully he goes into my uh, Mammoth Swine. But probably not. He just saw his Oblivious. So we're going to go for another Power Whip. We're going to go for that chance here. And I'm just going to drop another High Horsepower. That's my play. Great battle here. Win or lose, dude. All around good battle. That was a huge swap from him to get rid of that defense drop. That was huge. That was huge. And get off and intimidate on my Pokemon. There goes the fake out. Over on the Gyarados. Smart little cookie play. Gets a crit on a fake out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Mammoth Swine high horsepowers. There's an easy KO. Get him out of here. Okay, so... I think a Power Whip will still take you out. That's my thing. Muddy Water flies through. I think my Pokemon should be able to eat that. Oh, he's calm-minded. He's calm-minded. Dang it, dude. He takes out my Mammoth Swine. That's going to be GG's. Gets that Axe Drop on me as well. Dude, solid battle. Solid, solid battle. He brought that in War perfectly. Kept his top infinity alive. Was able to take out my Mammoth Swine. That's going to be G's, man. That is going to be G's all day. I'm minus one. I can't really do much about it. And not do much about it. But I thought we played that one really well. Especially towards the end. We kind of just like zoned in. Kind of kept that Glacier to not just sweeping. Pestered him around with some defense drops. But then he was able to swap. Yeah, that instant in the back, which was huge. And able to pick him up a win. I mean, I think he's going to protect, to be honest with you guys. But I'm still going to go for a power whip. Because it's my last hope. For, like, for like, him to miss this attack. And us to get this moxie boost. And maybe flinch him with a waterfall. That's like our last chance here. Hopefully he misses. Maybe I can do a little bit of this. A little bit of magic on him. We're back to normal on our attack. Hey, you're going to miss. You're going to miss. I right, so Crash comes in. He doesn't miss. Eat it. Yo, say that's real tasty. Nope, not tasty at all. He goes down. We drop. We go one and one. We're hopping into our third and final battle. I'm going to get that perfect or winning record for you guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're sitting at one and one. So we're looking for that winning record in this battle. We're going up against a Raikou and Suiku team. That is pretty dope. Cannot wait to get after this one. He also has the Rillaboom, the Grim Snarl, the Turtonator, and the Celestial. All right, I'm seeing you. I see what you do. Does Raikou learn Voltage? That's a, that's a good question. That's a real good question. I think he's probably just inner focus, but I would love to know if he does learn Bolt Absorb. I could go Moxie Gyarados as a lead. I don't want to bring my AG Slash, and I kind of want to coach up on somebody. So do I coach up onto the Gyarados? There's a possibility. There's a lovely little possibility. I think we just coach up on Thunderous. Going with Rylou. Uh, bring Mammo. Mammo's just good all around. And then Gyarados. I think we go same squad here. Team squad is the last battle. I'm digging it. Hopefully, we can pick ourselves up that win. We already got to show off Angie Slash in battle number one and Mimikyu in battle number one. So, I'm fine with going in with these Pokemon. I thought battle number one was strong. I thought battle number two was strong as well. Just tough to play up against Glacier. All around good. We did play that one really good till the end, but then he made a phenomenal swap. Getting in that Incineroar, getting that Intimidate, losing the defense drops on the Glacier, and rocking out with that battle. Real Boom and Celestial do get the lead, which, yo, I'm totally fine with that. He can fake me out. Which he's probably going to do. I might just protect. I might just protect. 
Do I double protect? I think I'm gonna do double protect. That's what I'm gonna do. Block the fake out. And just protect here and then Dynamax next turn. He might go in for like uh, an air move. Oh no, he's gonna Dynamax right off the rip. You're crazy, dude. This dude's out of his mind. So if we can eat, if we can eat, we, we should be fine. There's the Celestial Dynamax. He wants to go into that airstream. I know he does. Let's go straight into that fake out into the airstream on the Rylou. Which, if I can just protect, I can coach off and get off my Thunder next turn. Or I can just airstream and take out the real boom. So let's see how this plays out. Protect, baby. Throwing up a shield. Throwing up a big old shield. Throwing up another shield. Get it. <laughs> Double protect coming through. Fake out. Blah. Airstream coming through. We should be able to soak this one up. Should be able to soak up, right? Yep. All day. All day. We eat. So he gets a little bit of speed here. My thing is, I'm going to coach. Do I get after that roll boom? Do I get after that roll boom or do I get after Celeste Steel? I definitely want a Dynamax. And I'm just going to get after this roll boom after I coach. After I coach up for the boys, we're going to take out this roll boom, no probs. And get a def def defense boost as well. But now we're Dynamax, so good. First turn, protect for me so I can uh, block that fake out. Because again, if I didn't protect that turn, I knew the fake out was coming and I knew he was going to airstream and just try to get rid of my Rylu. If that would happen, he would have been storming out of this game. Easy win for him. So let's see how this plays out. He's going to end up going with a protect. Smart protect by him. He's a smart little biscuit. And what does Celestial look like? Celestial is going to just attack. Yeah, I'll probably go for another airstream. And we're going to start boosting our speed here as well. And that's cool. My Thunder still outspeeds the Celestial. So a nice little airstream popping from there. Um, I could Screech next turn. Let's see what he does. I think he's going to go for another airstream and take out my Rylu. Which I'd be fine with at this point. At this point, I wouldn't mind. Because then I can come in with Mammoth Swine and just uh, Ice Shard and take out that real boom. Right? Is Rylu dead here? Yep. Okay. That's fine. We got off the coach. We got the rock out from there, and we wasted two Dynamax turns just on a Rylu. So I know we still outspeed uh, the uh, Celestia, which is wonderful. And I'm hoping, I'm just hoping this Ice Shard takes out. I am Sash. Beast Boost is popping here. And what's he going to get boost? His Special Attack. His special Attack is going to get a lovely boost. Do I think an Ice Shard is going to KO? It could go with Gyarados, but we got to go. I think we got to go in with you. I could protect the kind of get off that. The, they got that grassy glide. That could be play. That could be play. Protected you. But I think grass glide is going to come through here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect my mammoth swine. Take out the real boom. Get a speed boost. Have this Dynamax turn end. We should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. Yep, there's a glide. Block. Keep my sash. Unless you're going after me with Celesteela. But there's the airstream. We get speed boost, rocking out again. And we're gonna say, Roboom, get out my lock. Get him out of here. I'm waiting for this uh, Celestial to, to drop down, so then I can just drop a nice big old lightning on it and probably pick up a KO in one turn. Because, again, I know we outspeed the Celestial, no problem. And we're gonna be able to outspeed whatever other Pokemon he has. Unless he has a Pokemon with first turn priority. Here goes the Rock Ball. Hey, yo, dropping rocks on me? What's your problem, man? KOs me, no problem. KOs me no problem. Was that a crit? Was well, not a crit. Just dumped on me with the plus one special attack. He's gonna be able to rock out now. I don't like that one bit. I didn't think he was gonna be able to pick up KO on my thunders like that. Cause I did not think he was he was dropping a rock. I thought he was maybe going for another airstream or a steel spike. But this thing is boosted up. And I'm terrified of this thing. <laughs> I'm terrified because now I know he dropped rocks. All right, let's get after it. No more Dynamax with them. It comes down to these two boys right here. It's not looking good for us. It does not look good for us right now. Oh, yo, we got this. We got this, no problem. Grip Snarl is going to come out here. And he can fake out, which is tough news. Does he know we're oblivious? Does he know we're oblivious is a real question. I got to get it for a Celeste Steel all day. I'm just going to drop an Icicle Crash and hopefully he fakes out onto my Mammoth Swine slot. See how this plays. Scary face coming in here. And bye bye, Gyarados. Right? That's got to be on Gyarados, right? No, you're going after him. Okay. That's totally fine. Speed drops harshly and Flash Cannon popping through here. 
Brings us down to Sash. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. We gotta take out Celestia. And you really get a special defense drop on me? Nuts. Waterfall comes through. Nope, doing no damage. And Ice of Crash comes through. Can we get a crit? Can we do something special here? Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Nothing. Buffets by Sandstorm gets thrown around. Grimstone takes Buffet. Celesteel takes Buffet. We get to our grass train. Oh, Celesteel does not take a Buffet. Dang, I really needed him to take a Buffet. He's steel typing. Okay, can Ice Shard do him dirty? Can Ice Shard do him dirty? Ice Shard, I need you here. I think we have to double up into him, right? But we're, gonna, we're, we're looking for Ice Shard Doom Dirty here. Get after Ice Shard Doom Dirty. Get him. Get him. Dang it, man. <laughs> Reflect gets set up. We're doubling up into him. Hopefully he misses. Or is he going to go after Mamo? He's going after Giga Drink up there. Oh, we should be able to eat that, right? Oh, I dig that. I dig that a lot. I really like this turn. I really like that he just did that. Waterfall gets KO. Moxie, baby. Moxie. We're slower, though. That's our problem. We are slower. I wonder who he has in that back end. That's my, that's my real question. I really do wonder who he has in that back end. He's going to throw out his final mod. Who's going to be... Who? Who is he going to be? You're going to need somebody to take out my... My what's called? My Gyarados. Hopefully it's the Turtonator. The turret? Let me. Right, God dang it, man. <laughs> God dang it. We are going to go for a waterfall. We have to double up in the U. That's a fact. And high horsepower has to come through here. That's our plan. Maybe Mammoth Swine outspeeds? Just maybe. That would be our only good play. At least slow down my Garrus, right? I know he slowed down my Mammoth Swine. We doesn't, he's, we're not going to be able to outspeed with Mammoth Swine. It's tough news. Raikou comes out as the final mod. We need him to miss or something. We need him to miss. Fake Tears comes out. And, you know, who are you going after? Are you going after my Gyarados? Does he have any attacking moves? That's the real question. Skull's going to come through here. Eat this up, Mamo. Eat it. No, nope, Mamo does not eat up. You fake Tears on me? I guess he doesn't have any hitting moves. But Raikou shows that he is a ward. We get like a crit. We are Moxie boosted. Do we KO this thing? No. We do not. Oh, it's come out. Tough news. He's going to hit me with Electric Move. That's going to be GG. But I don't think Grimstone has any hitting moves. We need this thing to miss. That's that's the only way. Yo, Pokey guys. You guys remember a couple videos ago when my Charizard missed the Heat Wave? Payback time. He's got to miss here. That's the rules. I'm using my one. I'm using my one. I get one because you guys use one on me. That's how it's going to roll. He's going to miss here. Fake Tears comes out. I need him to miss. Miss it, baby. Come on. Hey, dude, Poke guys are not on my side, man. <laughs> Thunderbolt comes through here. That's a KO. We go one and two for today's video, but all three battles were decently good. Even though we lost, it came down to the wire, and we got to show off this team to its fullest potential. My man, Trenton, thank you so much for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. I love using the AG Slash and love using the Moxie Gyarados once again on this channel. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.